Hi, and welcome to Coder Dojo Pembroke Pines. This video is an overview of how we run our Coder Dojo meetings. You can reach us on our Twitter account, Coder Dojo PPS, and you can register online for one of our meetings at Coder Dojo PPS.eventbrite.com. When our meetings start, everyone checks in with their Eventbrite ticket. And we get laptops and tablets open, connect to the Wi Fi at the library, and we start off with a tutorial an online tutorial, uh, a video, or a short guest lecture that focuses on a technology that we're going to be featuring for that particular meeting. We do introductions of all of our Coder Dojo members so that they can get to know each other and what their interests are because what's important about Coder Dojo are building teams that are going to solve challenges. Challenges you say? That's right. We learn by solving challenges. Now each um, member will participate in a team of around three coders. Uh, at the end of the session, the teams will present what they built using code. As a way of recognizing good work, we'll give you a stripe for what you present. Earn four stripes and you'll advance to the next belt. So what's an example of a dojo challenge? Well, here's one. How would you stop the asteroid from hitting the Earth? And when you think about this problem, you probably get all kinds of great ideas, like maybe firing missiles at the asteroid. Whatever your solution, we want you to think about it in a way that it can be realized in one of these forms. Either build a game or put together a website that explains your solution or create an animation that will show us your solution in action. And for maybe some of your more, the more advanced Dojo members, build a, a mobile app or an app that will control a robot to describe a part of the solution that you're looking for. Or maybe even do a mod or a script for uh, on an existing uh, program or game that will demonstrate your ideas in action. Most important is for you to tell your story. So what are the rules? It's pretty simple. No more than four coders per team. You can join another team at any time and you can watch and learn from another team and bring back what you learned to your team. This is a great way to share and experience uh, the, the challenges that each team are taking on and how they're solving them. Now at every Coder Dojo there's only really one rule that rules them all and that's to be cool. That means no bullying, lying, or wasting people's time. Our mentors are there to help the coders with their projects by providing inspiration and encouragement. The mentors are not going to code for you. They might give you a hint or maybe brainstorm with you on taking a different approach. But you, the coder, are going to use your own talents to solve the problem. So here are some tips, coders. Break down your project into smaller tasks and then have each team member uh, take those tasks and develop the code necessary. Building these smaller programs will allow you to test ideas and you can get those that code and write them down and copy them into the bigger program so that you can incorporate these ideas and to provide your solution. Now the code that you write down is important. It's got all the ideas that you've come up with. So it's a good thing to use them in, in your presentation. You want to share what you've learned uh, during the session. You want to let everyone to benefit from the things that you've, the ways that you've figured it out. So as for your presentation, each team has about five minutes to present. Each team member should take a role when presenting. That means maybe describe the solution or sit at the computer and demo the solution or answer the questions that other team members might ask. Whatever the case may be, whatever role, you need to be part of the presentation to earn your stripe. Now, what if you don't finish? That's a common question. Well, don't worry. 
use your time wisely. Get enough done to demo the basic idea of your project. You could always work on the project at home and bring it back next time to present, which is great because when you improve your project, you add additional functions and features and clean up your work to make it look just right, we'll give you another stripe for presenting that improvement and showing that you continue to improve your skills. Parents, you're really an important part of the dojo. You're responsible for your kids and their equipment. You can help out by solving any equipment issues that they might have uh, or even assisting them with um, navigating their computer, typing, those kinds of things. But please let the kids solve the problems on their own. And I just have one more thing to say. Have fun. Because that's what we do at Coder Dojo. It's all about learning to make fantastic solutions to some challenging problems and learning to code all at the same time.